you are a dedicated martial artist and you went out and bought a punching bag or a bob or something you can attack in the comfort of your very own home. But you find that by punching and kicking it, your feet get a little more than pink. Perhaps they're red, perhaps it hurts. Therefore, this video, we're gonna help you get ready to punch the bag and learn how to do it properly. Check it out. What's up guys, it's Sean from taekwondoshan.com and today we are introducing you to this, the punching bag. We wanna make sure that we're ready to punch and kick it effectively without hurting our joints because when we get hurt, we have to take a break from Taekwondo and that's not good. So don't let that happen. So let's start with the fists with our hands. There's a couple of ways you can start, but I always suggest you start soft. So make your fist properly, grab the top, grab the side. It could be hanging, it could be freestanding, it could be sand, water, doesn't matter. All you're gonna do is start hitting it gently. Now you don't want to bounce off of it. You want to press into it, like you're making some kind of indent every single time. Good, and then after 100 times, of course, you gotta switch your hands and strike with the other hand. Fun fact, while you guys are practicing, in Japanese, they call these, this kind of training, makiwara. Maki means to wrap, and wara means with straw. So we're wrapping with straw, and they would punch these things 100 times to get ready to strengthen their body, to strengthen their fist, condition themselves. Good, and then we increase the power. Again, make sure you stick into the target. Don't bounce. Stick. Then of course you can also practice training all the other parts of your hand properly and that way you guys can strengthen all parts and be ready to go. Next we have the Toyo Chagi, your roundhouse kick. So you want to make sure that you start soft. In fact, you could start with socks. By wearing socks, you're gonna be able to have a bit of a protection so that the irritation on your foot isn't gonna to be too bad. And what you wanna do is make sure you fully pivot your foot as you kick the target. If you guys are kicking with the ridge or the big toe knuckle, you guys are kicking that one spot, all the power, all the impact is going on that one spot, you're gonna get hurt, extra hurt. So you wanna make sure you full pivot every single time. If you're wearing cool Costco socks like me, make sure the whole panther, the whole puma, hits the target every single time, okay? So make sure you fully pivot and hit. And again, start soft, hit the target. You can grab onto a chair or something so you can maintain your balance and just gonna condition the top of the foot. And then of course you build up the power, making sure you pivot properly, try to stick on the target, and then you can remove the socks. Ah. And then again, you start soft, And then you can build up the power. The main thing with these kind of like conditioning drills, just like in Japanese, they have the makiwara, which is like the straw wrap target that they condition their fists with. You wanna make sure you start easy and then build it up. Eventually in the old days, they were kicking trees, right? Trees with their bare knuckles and their feet. Everybody starts somewhere. So make sure you guys start where you're at and then build it up from there. And then you guys can start adding more and more combos and make it more interesting training with your brand new purchase. And then if you guys wanna improve the durability of your fists, we have a video where you guys can learn all the conditioning drills you have to do to make your hand knife or your fist stronger. So check out that video here and I'll see you guys there.